The two leaders looted efforts by American states and cities to comply with the Paris Climate Change Agreement, despite the U.S. President's decision to withdraw. Well, Sarah Morris is in Bonn and she joins us live from there. Hi, Sarah. So is there a sense that at the conference that the Paris Accord can survive without the support of the U.S.? absolutely very positive vibes going on here in Bonn at the moment and I think even more so since the visit of the French President Emmanuel Macron and the German Chancellor Angela Merkel when they arrived yesterday you could really feel a lift in atmosphere they give I guess some some grunt some muscle uh, to what the people here are trying to achieve and particularly Emmanuel Macron yesterday he gave a very strong speech where he said and vowed that Europe led by France and Germany would really step up now and fill the void uh, that the U.S. has left by pulling out of the Paris Accord. And in particular, uh, Emmanuel Macron vowed to help with the infrastructure and the, uh, the investment that is required to fight climate change. Of course, climate change takes a lot of money because a lot of new technologies are going to be required to fight it. And without the U.S. willing to fund some of that research and development, there could be a problem. But Emmanuel Macron has said, no, we are going to fill that void absolutely. He's even holding a conference uh, in Paris next next month where they will talk about ways to gather the money that is needed to continue this fight. But as well, of course, as, as having these fighting words and having a call to arms from those two leaders, there is an overarching problem, and that is actually how to go about implementing that Paris Accord. It was signed with great fanfare a couple of years ago, but what was never actually worked out was how uh, each country would reduce its emissions and how, when it did, they would be counted and how they would be held accountable for those emissions. So there's a lot of backroom fighting really going on here. It uh, has been going on for the last week. It'll go for another day or two as countries really try and work out how on earth they will make things measurable uh, and we do know at this stage none of the Paris Accord is binding so countries are voluntarily saying they'll reduce their target uh, their emissions target but we don't know exactly how they will do it and we don't know if they'll do it and there won't be a policeman so to speak to make sure they are doing it but technology of course is the big thing because as you said there uh, that it was mentioned by Angela Merkel without technology we really will not reach the target of reducing carbon emissions by up to 2%.